Hey everybody, welcome to another Family Clips unboxing. I'm Jessica and I'm the funny one. Right, and today we've got an Amazon customer return palette uh, full of mystery items. We say mystery items, you know, all of these lovely brown boxes that Except we have Except for this one no that idea. says keep refrigerated. Well, this one says floating shells if you want to get technical. This says badminton. Yeah, that mitten is bad. <laughs> Poor mitten. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Joe. And I'm Jessica. Years back, we set out to find a lifestyle that allowed us to live comfortably, homeschool our three children, and make a life and legacy we would be proud of. Reselling liquidated goods both online and locally through our bin store was the vehicle that allowed us to do just that. It's hard work, it's constantly changing, but we wouldn't trade it for the world. Here's the story of how our small business runs in the midst of all the challenges life throws at us. As always, thank you for stopping by and come on in. Let's jump into it. I'm not gonna go too too far down. Okay. These look like they're all gonna fall off. Righto. But I really, <laughs> I'm really scared about this box here. We could do some tandem unboxing where we're both unboxing at the same time. No. Oh. Okay. Take your turn. Fine. Well, I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, hopefully it's like packaged tightly, you know? Um, but this is supposed to be kept refrigerated. Yeah, do not freeze though, just refrigerate it. Oh, there, it's not that not in all. the box at all. <laughs> there is something else in this box. It's a uh, mattress cup. It's a uh, uh, hat. What is it, Jessica? It's a, uh, it's, you're doing great, babe. It's a bed cover. It's a dog bed cover. It's a cover for a dog bed. That's a huge dog bed cover. And uh, it's got a giant hole in it. It's holy. So great start. We're off to a great start. <laughs> very great start. <laughs> very, very great. All right. Moving well, on. I grabbed a box uh, and I was just doing it to mess with you. Uh, I was going to pretend like I was unboxing it with you, but then I feared for my life. So I did not do that. Ooh, it has a, U a UPC on it. We're about to find out how much it is. What do y'all think it is? I got underneath my fingernail. Oh! Oh! what it is y'all it's one of those fire starters you put the charcoal in there and then you light it from the bottom then you pour it over the fire oh that hurt i hate that feeling man i hate that feeling are you okay that you feeling that you can't fight anymore you know you're like i can't, can't fight, fight that feeling, feeling anymore oh, that hurt bad that really hurt that hurt real bad anyways I'll so right. you know i don't know if you saw the screenshot but it was about $51. Oh, 50 That's bucks. 50 bucks. Nice. And Ooh, that's super light. You have no idea what it is. That makes it exciting. No, we know what it is that makes us exciting. It's the mystery of not knowing. Ooh, there's oh. junk mail in here. This is an interesting story. Look at this. Junk mail. A pan, a glass Pyrex baking dish. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Two quart, thirteen dollars and twenty nine cents. Ooh, ooh. Right. It's on sale though. It's usually twenty dollars. Um, that will sell on ten dollar day though, because it's Pyrex. Yes. Yep. This right here, uh, it's just a little light. There'll be a screenshot on the screen, but it's fifty two dollars. How about this? There's so many mystery boxes on this oh. one. It's either gonna be, it's either a really, really good thing or a really bad thing. What did they return today? What did they return today? It's a thing. No idea what it is. Huh. Umbrella, maybe? 
possibly? Come on, Jessica, I'm ready to know. I'm trying, but it's it's very taped up. It, it's wrapped really. It's not, it's in a it's case. Not, it's not an umbrella. It says, um, I... I ho Ahoy. 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 Uh, oh. And it stinks. Ah. Oh. Hiking sticks. They're yeah. not they're not locked. I like hiking sticks. Yeah. And you're about to break that one. Paul Calvert, one of our loyal customers, he bought a pair of hiking sticks from us a couple weeks ago on seven dollar day. Well, I don't and it was missing a tip on those, so I know that these will sell on ten dollar day. Put that in there. I guess are they? Uh, they're anti shock. Maybe they're not. Uh, they're shock absorber with superior characteristics. Uh, maybe they're outstanding mountaineering stat. Mountaineering is that right? What did I say the first time? Uh, for hiking on rugged terrain. That's what they are. Oh yeah, they're trekking poles. Yeah. And they're. $24.95. $24.95. Not so bad. So those will go in the bins and somebody will get them for $10, which is over 50% off. Ooh, ooh. Yep. Ooh, ooh. All right. This box, uh, is this the box that fell off the forklift when I was unloading it? Yep. Okay. I don't know. It fell off the pallet. We didn't, we didn't make it fall off. It was just not sturdy in it. And there's no telling how many times it fell off before we got it. How coincidental that it was a rugged cat dumpster truck. Was it a dumpster dump, truck? Dump no. truck. Uh, yeah, a dump truck. And it's got batteries. Yeah. So. And it's got the little, uh, no, it's got the remote. It's got that. It's got the piece that goes on there. And it's got the charging cable right there. So it's all there. And. The little baggies protected it on the fall. Hopefully, we'll have to test it and find hey, out. Hey, it's thirty-six dollars. Thirty-six bucks, nice. That's not bad. No. I'm glad that was easy to find because there was no UPC. <laughs> you found that. Great. I know. I That's sure did. That's impressive. I sure did. I just typed in like cat remote control dump truck and. You made quite the mess over here. Babe. I know. No. Yeah. It was fun while it lasted. It was fun though. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be the one to clean it up. We're gonna unbox it, but don't cut the stuff on the inside of the box. It's green. It's green. It's a fake plant. <laughs> Just one? Just one. This is Billy. Uh, Billy. Oh, Come you're going to take Billy home, aren't you? I like Billy. Uh, that's not it there. Natural. How tall is he? He's not three and a half feet. No, but he might be two and a half feet. Because, uh, I mean, some of these uh, plants like this that are three feet tall. Is that right? Tall? Is this about two and a half feet? Because six inches and six feet is the same thing. 24 inch. It says 24 inch on here. So two feet. Yeah. That's not bad. No, you're pretty close. That's not bad. Uh, but Congratulate three, me. Three foot ones are like $60. Your so phone is vibrating like crazy. What's going on here? Uh, what's it doing? I don't know. Stop it. Babe. Touch it. It's going crazy and I'm not doing it. It's not me. Yeah, because you've pushed it so many times. No. It's trying to catch up to you. Look. No. No. It's not me. Watch. You broke my phone. No, it was doing that when I was just holding it. You broke my phone. You broke did my feelings. So a set of two is forty-seven ninety-nine. This you know. is a set of one. So this is a set of one. Yeah. So it's twenty dollars. Yeah. And I just grabbed the floating shelves. Um, I think y'all said compromise last time by at least scanning the item. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, they're pretty. Oh, it's the number one bestseller. 5282 Dark Gray. Very nice. nice. You don't want to grab those bags of no, stuff in the middle? I want the mystery box. 
and there is nothing on it, just the way I like it. Got a no trespassing sign. Warning, um, keep off fence, private property. I might uh, see if Ron can print some vinyl, vinyl? Vinyl mm -hmm. uh, sign thing, and it'd be like keep out, keep out of dumpster, and then we'll just put this on our dumpster because they're making a mess, man. Yes. Well, there's a few people that come in there that don't make a mess, mm -hmm. and I'm fine with it. But when you make a mess, and then I have to go in every morning and clean it up. Right. No problem. And on the weekends, it's like the club. I swear, like they are coming and going in that dumpster all night long. This is a used runner, red runner. And it's even got the little tapey stuff still on it. So that's fun. I'm not exactly sure what this is other than it's used. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, is, that is all. It's got like some little legs in the bottom. Uh, it's broken as well. Uh, it's going in the bins. Well, this is a... Uh, um, you know, the little babies laying it so they don't roll it over. Like a dock -a dot type thing? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. I mean, it, it looks like it hasn't, like all the packaging is still in there sealed. Uh, this is just without a box. It's without the original box. But it doesn't look like it's been used? Yep. That's interesting. Right. All right. Ooh. How about Bella? Oh, it twanged. Like, I think it's metal. Like, I it pulled it twanged. and it went. Okay. Uh, I got it you. It went like this. <laughs> How did it go? Uh, <laughs> um, that's, that's what it did. I, I hear it. Uh, no, you hid the label from me. I came over. To, uh, See, this is why it went. You're not cooperating. I believe that's. Uh, it did do that. Um, was that not accurate? It was, right? Um, I, I'm not going to appease you. It was not, it sounded lo nothing like that. I can't get it to, uh, to scan, but it's a umbrella holder. Oh, so it's uh, upside down. It's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> and it yeah, looks good though. It looks good though. I don't know if these are supposed to be bent like that. I don't. Well, they're all bent so perfectly. I know. I know. Bella Chicago umbrella organizer. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Mm -hmm. So I can't find it, but all the ones around the same style are about 40 to 50 bucks. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. Mm. all right. Four items in the bins. Ooh. Uh, this box has seen better days. And uh, I just want to open up to see if the thing is actually all busted up inside. Oh, I don't cut myself. <laughs> I cut myself today. I see you trying to get near my uh, UPC label. There you go, babe. I'm better than that. It's all, there we go. That's like it's 4721. I was gonna say like 60 bucks. I was a little bit, man, you were off. You were all off. I can't tell, well, hold on. I can't tell if that looks nice or not. It's weird. It's been cooked on a time or two. And it's got some grease grease. Oh, yeah, it's broken right there. So this will be another bin item. Um, yeah. Oops. <laughs> I got boxes. <laughs> <laughs> you did. This is a badminton set. 
It doesn't look, it does look like it's been opened. It will have to be inspected, but assuming all the pieces are there, let's find out how much it's worth. We'll inspect it later on. We buy these pallets for our retail store. Uh, we kind of go through them, all the items that are price appropriate in good, uh, great condition. Uh, we'll go in our retail section and then the other items that we've been saying bin items will go in our bin starting off at 10 bucks. And this item is $65.85, assuming all the parts nice. are there and it's in a good condition. And it's normally 80 bucks. It's on sale right now. We're going that way with it. Do y'all see my living conditions? They're amazing. I have this box. It's Ooh, from the up it's store. A mystery. Oh, that's heavy. Wow. That's super heavy right there. Did you cut yourself? Oh, you poor thing. Do you need a band babe? No, but all the YouTube moms out there are yelling at me. Oh, did you cut yourself with the blade? Yeah. Oh, yeah. to pause that video and rewatch that part because that was pretty dang funny. <laughs> oh, I almost peed my pants. It went, and I was like, <laughs> you, you made it worse. I didn't know what was happening. I, I almost peed my pants. Uh, it's a dog thing. It's a bar. broken dog thing. Oh, that thing was all wound up so tight you opened it up and bang. <laughs> Here's the rest of it. There's a carrying case on it. <laughs> they couldn't it barely fit in that box and they want you to get it in this bag. <laughs> I'm so afraid now. <laughs> Every box I think is gonna get me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. Oh. Oh. That one's good. It's a weighted blanket. Um, what's the weight? 15 pounds. Nice. Top C. Top C. 34.63. 34, 63. That ain't bad. Heck yeah. That ain't bad. Look, get this one. I don't want to get that one. You get that one. It's cool. I want to get this one. These are. Oh, Melissa and it's Doug. A Melissa, not only is it Melissa and Doug, but it's also Paw Patrol 41 pieces jumbo cardboard blocks, which is super neat for those building kids, those kids that like to build. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> I pulled the tape off and whacked them with it. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. Melissa, tell, them, tell them what they've won. Melissa and Doug is a pretty pricey brand, too. Yeah. This is $35.97 for cardboard blocks. That's not bad. That's, that's, a, that's a lot more reasonable than I thought it would be for Melissa and Doug. This, this looks like something's gonna jump out of it. So you have fun with that. I was expecting like a pom-pom box. Uh, a couple years ago, we did an unboxing where we unboxed a humongous box that had like a pair of pom-poms in it. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this one's heavy. And uh, it's very interesting. It's a trash can wrapped in saran wrap. <laughs> Why though? I know that's why it's interesting. Hold on. Um, do we want to? I don't. We want to open it. Do, do we? Yeah. Are you sure? It doesn't smell, babe. Because it's wrapped in saran wrap. No, it's saran wrap. It doesn't like keep all smells out. Oh, please be empty. Please be empty, please be empty. It's got a few small dents on the side. Not very big ones though. Let's please just be, cut it up here. Please be empty, please be empty, please be empty. That could be the plastic insert. So one time when we were on A&E, 
uh, Extreme Unboxing. Oh. We bought a pallet of camping equipment and there was a bunch of camper potties on there. And uh, they have been used, so not I've, all of them. I always, anytime, not all of oh, them. We did have that one diaper genie too, that one time that it was, uh, it had been used. Uh, it had like dirty diapers and stuff in it still. So that's why when I want to see stuff like this. I'm like, but why? It's a nice trash can. It is. So far, no smell. Good thing there's no smell of it. I guess it comes with two trash cans. Oh my gosh, it was pregnant. Yeah, it's like a mini trash can. It had a baby. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. It does. It's got a small dent on there, but you can apply, apply a little Aww, heat from a heat a baby gun, trash can. and that dent will come right out. It's a mommy trash can. Uh, the doula and you got very excited. <gasps> There you go, little baby. Yeah. Is there something in it as well? No, nope. just a liner. Oh, that is convenient. cute though. And it's uh, the little motion sensor too for small trash cans. Oh, for your bathroom. Yep, yeah, for your bathroom. Or well, it could be for really wherever you want it to go. Nine stars. I couldn't find the exact one. Like this one's a little bit of a different design. Yeah. But with the trash can and the sensor trash can, it was 104.46. Whoa, for trash cans, that's crazy. But they're both sensors, yeah. so I can kind of understand. We could probably get like 25, 30 bucks for it. I always like heaters, they sell pretty well. They do, but our window for uh, how much longer we can sell these heaters at a decent resale value uh, is getting smaller by the day. It's warming up. Yep. It's like 67 degrees here in Arkansas today. This is 5678. Yeah, so we'll check it out. If it's a good condition, it could easily be a $25 item out there. We have another mystery box. Ooh. It's not very heavy though. This actually kind of felt like the UPS box that popped at me, but <laughs> we'll see. Let me stand back. Okay, we're good. We're good. My mom tells me I'm important. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's what a it's... dog bed, I bet. Oh, hello, pet parent. The wait <laughs> is over. Now you can give your first child the total comfort and support they so richly deserve with your new best friends by Sherry Bed. Okay. Oh, it's, oh, a nice it's little, cute. Nice little bed. Thirty-three dollars. Oh, and yeah. people are always looking for dog beds right yeah. here. That's fifteen-dollar item right there. And it'll sell really quick too. Probably within a day. Yep. Probably the first day we put it out. You know what this mystery box? I'll do this one. You can do that one. Oh, because you know what this is. No, I don't know what that one is. This is a Coblins. 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 Cob not to be confused with the goblins. A uh, little shop. I don't know. Okay. I was. It hey, was a stretch. No, you know, whatever you know, floats your bubble, man. Sometimes when. So my mom's. You're Fili trying to be funny. My it, mom's Filipino, and she speaks amazing English for somebody whose English is her second language. The one thing that she cannot get are cliches. So, uh, she never wants to bust your boat, uh, <laughs> and it's whatever floats your bubble. Yep. Love you, Mama. But it's on sale for $35. Oh, okay. Oh, remember what happened to the last shop vac that we had? The one where I popped myself in the face? <laughs> I got popped in the face today, too. <laughs> this is a dangerous profession. It's, nope, it's get it away too, from babe. me. <laughs> get it away. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Babe, you said I couldn't draw. <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> it looks spectacular. It's not just good. It's yeah. great. I think they may have used it one time. We'll check it out. Uh, for sure. 
but no faces were hit in the filming of this episode with That's, this tube. I was gonna say with that too, because I did get hit in the face. <laughs> you did? Earlier. You did? So. Oh, that was so funny. I forgot all about it. This says two pound nonstick bread making machine. Ooh, bread making machine. Yeah, household use only. Uh, not to be used uh, in Out your restaurants or commercial facilities. Oh, or outside in your backyard. Yeah, you cannot barbecue with this one. Like, you know, I'm talking about like backyard barbecue. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Amazon Basics bread. I want a bread machine. Do we have a bread machine? We used to have one. We used to break bread. Break bed. We used to bed. What? Uh, we used to break. Bur uh, huh. We used to, to bake bread. Yes, that's exactly what I was trying to say. Uh, has there been any bread baked in that one before? I don't believe so. It looks pretty clean. Neato. We'll power it on. We'll give it a little brief inspection see what it's going on the outside has been scuffed up a little yeah. but it's you know so maybe it was used they just did a great job of cleaning it up could be amazon basics for baking bread or breaking beds beds okay we're down to the last layer and it's all big mystery boxes oh it is isn't it I bet there's a lot of these are lights too. Like this one. You gonna do that one? Yeah. That one looks light. Room. Any guesses? It's a scooter. It is. What? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Do you sit on it? Is that what you do with it? Hmm? I don't know. We'll find out though. Let me see. Hurdle. Soak it too? So. Okay, so you can sit on it, but you can also put it up and not sit on it. Nice. And it's $54.99. And it's red. I wonder if Lucas would like that for his birthday. I bet he would. He did find the transformer little kit that I had put in the office. Yeah, you're not very good at hiding stuff. I'm not. Uh, he found it and I had to tell him it was for his birthday because he kept wanting to play with it. But then he said he could wait for his birthday for it. How about this big light box? Mm. Huh. Uh. I know. Huh. I know, that's what I said. Huh. I'm already moved on to one of these back there. Huh. I don't like the looks of that. I know, I opened it up, it looks like there's a bo another box in here. There is, it's Christmassy. Christmas wreath. This. And lots of glitter. This is a mess. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna pull this up so I can show you in here. It's a wreath. A very glittery, messy wreath. Very messy wreath. So I'll let you know that. Well, I'm just going to just go ahead and put this in the bins. We'll recycle that paper. We'll use it for packing paper. Five items left. Oh, that's heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Well, that might be a good sign. Yeah. You do that one, I'll just go ahead and... Okay. We've got a... This is probably like a four foot Christmas tree. Um, four foot, yep, it's on there, four foot. We learned about that box and pretty much we yep. know exactly what it is every time. I think this might be a car seat. Maybe. Maybe? Am I right? Yeah. Yep. Good brand, Graco. I always, I always feel like I need to say this because people never really know. I'm, oh, I, you know, I know that car seats are expensive, and as a reseller, you should be really, really excited about it. But because I don't know if it's been used or if it's been an accident or whatever, I'm always super cautious 
um, about car seats um, when it comes to reselling. But one thing I always look for is like Whoa. whether or not everything's still in the bag. If it looks like it has any signs of use, which it really doesn't. There's like no creases yeah, or anything. It looks good. And it's a $220 Graco car seat. Uh, so this one easily sell for a hundred bucks out there. Uh, and it looks good. It looks great. It I mean, smells, this- It smells new. I mean, this, it's still got like a little thing on it from when uh, it was uh, box lights in this. I don't know, you know, could have been a third party seller on Amazon. Who knows? What a find, I like that. This one I have, I don't have as high of hopes for because it's a mystery I wasn't box. expecting that. This is a weird box. It's a weird box, and inside this weird box is um, a self-cleaning litter box. Oh, has that been used though? I don't think so. This is the bottom, so there's nothing in it. No, it's clean. I don't know. It's got hairs and stuff on there. I don't know if it's been used or not. It doesn't I mean, smell like it. No. Who knows? Which is unfortunate because if it's been used, it's very unlikely that people are going to buy it because cats yeah. are very particular about their litter boxes. They are Omega. Okay, forty-two dollars. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Forty-two bucks. And it looks good. I mean, it'll, it'll end up going to our bins just because I'm not going to sell it on the retail section with a bunch of little hairs on it. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's ever been litter in it. Do that one. That one looks heavy. And it says Rockland. Rock land. Rock land. Style F160, color pink. I bet it's a suitcase set. Oh yeah, I bet it is. And those have been selling very well. The sets have uh, been selling very well when we put them out there in the retail section. I'm guessing probably, ooh, let me guess the price. I'm gonna guess the price. Don't okay. tell me. Don't show it on the screen yet. I'm showing it. I accidentally cheated. I'm showing it. Um, I was in, I guess, around $200, 179, 169, somewhere around in that range. But then I accidentally saw a MSRP sticker on there that said $200. It's 216 on Amazon. Whoa! <laughs> and it looks good. Sometimes with these, uh, it's got little dents and stuff on the side. Uh, and it's got that one in there. There should be three. There should be an even smaller one in there. Anyways, we'll open it up and see. It feels like it's got the other one in there. It smells like new plastic. Yeah, it does I can smell, smell it new. from here. I can smell your plastic from over here. That's sweet. That's awesome. Two items back to back pretty much with the... Uh, the I car mean, seat and I was then not, this one? I was not expecting that. No. And so I'm kind of stoked about I guess it. it's because we've been disappointed so many times from, that's uh, not going to fit there, from all of the big boxes in the past that have come up with absolutely nothing. I'm going to say it's a cool mystery box for you. Oh, can I have a knife? Uh-oh, two more items left. I know, I'm going to say that one's for you. You can do that one last. I already have an idea of kind of what it might be. So, here we go. Summer brand. It's a decent brand. It's a uh, messed up box. It's but a I little janky. But the, I mean, it's a plastic tub. It's not gonna, it's, it's not, the likelihood of it being damaged unless they like threw it off a roof. Here we go. Right there. <laughs> but why would they throw a baby back Listen, off we, of the roof? I understand. <laughs> I understand why you would think that. It's perfectly fine as long as they didn't throw it off of the roof. <laughs> but like, but like you know, we've bought enough customer returns to know that weird things happen all the time. Yes, this is true. So uh, honestly, that kind of stuff doesn't surprise me anymore. It's on sale for 61 bucks right now. It's usually $75. It doesn't look like it's been used. It's even got a sealed bag right here with all the accessories. So, Nice. 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 That's three decent items. The last nice. three or four that will sell. Nice. Box is a little janky, but this is turning into a nice little money pallet. Nice. The, the first abundant amount of items were all bin items, but we finished out with a good bang. Well, so, let's see, because this is the last one. Well, not this one. I don't think this one will bang. Uh, 
at all. It's like it looks like stops up. It was expanding out of the box. <laughs> it's a marshmallow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those are nice pillows. They're big. I might be able to put these on the wall though, because uh, these are the big pillows. Like what? Like probably 28 by 28. Um, There's no info. No, but that's a big, a big, a big. I mean, that's pillow. a 20 inch, 20 by 20. Is it? Yeah. This Where is. Where does a, it say that at? Right there. 20 by uh, okay. 20 by 12. Yeah. So, so this is probably a 24 inch pillow. Yeah, or 22 by 22. If we can't put it on the wall, we'll put these two pillows in so, the bins. So, I mean, well, hold on, because a set of basic yep. 22 by 22 couch sofa cushions are anywhere from 17 to $20. Right. So, so, we'll put these in the bins. Somebody, somebody will buy them. We won't put the People love set. them. Uh, we've, I've, there have been time we ended up getting like a case pack or a bunch of yeah. pillows, just couch pillows and stuff like that. And people were coming in on $10 day, and they were like, where are the pillows at? So They will. That'll be a good one. Yep. And now we've got an empty pallet behind us and we've got plenty of potential profit. Yep. Um, probably a few of my favorite items were definitely the suitcase, um, the car seat for sure. Yes. I really also liked the, the sensor trash cans. You did like that one. Overall, it seems like a lot of the stuff in this pallet was really good condition. Yeah, it's so. not like a super double your money kind of pallet, uh, but. But it's a pallet I could definitely be yeah, happy with. We're gonna make some money. So thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed filming it. And we thank you guys so much. Until next time. Peace. peace.